Hello everyone, my name is Rafael. I'm a simulation engineer at TLK Energy. And in this video, I will provide a quick overview of HVAC system simulation with the TIL library. The TIL library is written in the object-oriented modeling language Modelica. To simulate our Modelica model, we rely on the commercial software Daimola, which looks like this. As an example, We've set up a simple household refrigerator circuit, which you can see here in the graphics view. In Daimona, you drag and drop model components like heat exchangers, compressors, or tubes on the canvas and connect them to an equivalent circuit model of your physical system. Double clicking on a component allows you to change physical parameters like the geometry, heat transfer, pressure drop, and the like. Commercial libraries for various engineering domains, such as automotive or aerospace application, energy and process industries, or HVAC systems are available. We set up our refrigerator model with the TIL library, which comprises over 20 years of modeling experience for thermal systems and thermophysical substance data. With TIL, you can model your systems comprised of gases, liquids, or vapor liquid equilibrium fluids with a variety of components such as heat exchangers, uh, compressors, pumps, valves, and many more. Our example refrigerating cycle contains an evaporator, a compressor, a condenser, and a capillary tube. Heat transfer of, refri of the refrigerator cabinet is modeled with a thermal resistance to the environment temperature. The controller increases the compressor's frequency whenever the cabinet's temperature becomes too large. Let's execute the simulation and take a look at the results. In the simulation tab, we can visualize the time series of all physical variables. Let's take a look at the cabinet's temperature and the compressor's frequency. We see that a periodic pattern emerges. Heat transfer with the environment increases the cabinet's temperature. At some point, the controller increases the compressor's frequency. This increases the overall cooling provided to the cabinet and the temperature drops again. Below a certain threshold, the compressor is switched off and the cycle starts from anew. So far, we modeled our example with graphical representations of components. In Modelica, you can also easily implement your own modeling equations by simply writing them down in the source code view. In the source code, you can deep dive into the modeling logic behind your graphical components and adapt every detail to your needs. The graphical view provides a high-level view of your whole system, which is easier for beginners to use. I will demonstrate the source code view with a simple example. I will change our refrigerator model in a small detail. Let's assume that our refrigerator is in a busy kitchen and is often opened and closed. For example, let's assume every 10 minutes it remains open for three minutes. To model this usage behavior, we assume that the convective part of the heat transfer resistance drops to zero during this time interval. In the graphical view, I set the value of the resistance to a variable called res underscore well. Now we switch to source code view and implement the change of this resistance value over time. We said that the resistance shall drop to zero for three minutes every 10 minutes. As time is measured in seconds, we can easily accomplish um, this single line of code here. We simulate our model again and plot the results. Let's compare the new results with the results uh, from the previous model.
Indeed, in comparison to before, we see a slight deviation from 10 minutes on when, the, when we first open the refrigerator. This concludes our simple model example. I hope I have provided you with some insights into HVAC system simulation with the TIL library.